Now let's move to factorize 5x squared minus 3x minus 2. We have 5x squared, therefore giving the two factors. One will be 5x and the other one will be x. And minus 2, either we have minus 1 times plus 2 or plus 1 times minus 2. And remember, we have to make up the middle term minus 3x. And since there will be four groups of factors, we can write it in a more systematic way and concise way. Like this one. 5x, x, we have plus 1, oh, sorry, minus 1, plus 2, or plus 2, minus 1. We interchange their position. And the second pair, plus 1, minus 2, and then we interchange their position again. And now we can do the cross multiplication mentally. For example, the first pair, it won't give up, it won't give the term of minus 3x as the middle term. The first pair does not work because obviously you have 5x times 2 giving 10x. That will be too large. And for the second pair, you can see that immediately 5x times minus 1 giving minus 5x and then plus 2x and giving the term minus 3x as the middle term and that will work for us and for the third group and fourth group they all do not work and therefore the answer will be 5x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 Again, we have to check our answer. 5x times x giving 5x squared plus 2 minus 1 giving minus 2. And then plus 2x minus 5x giving minus 3x. And therefore, we are quite sure that we have the correct answer. And now let's see another more difficult problem. Factorize 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. And therefore, we can see that in the first term, there will be a total of four factors and minus 6 also. The last term, you have 4 factors. And we can write it down as 6x squared can be 6x times 6 or 3x times 2x. And minus 6 will be minus 6 plus 1 or plus 6 minus 1 or plus 2 minus 3 or minus 2 plus 3. And we have to always bear in mind that we have to make up the middle term of plus 5x, uh, plus 5x. And we can see that there will be a lot of factors in this problem. How can we find the correct one, which is only one of the many possible factors? However, we can find a clue by inspecting the size of the numbers, uh, the comparative size of the number. Since we have 6, 1, 6, 1 here, and uh, the middle term is uh, plus 5x, and therefore, it is quite obvious that if we choose 6, 1 as the pair of factors, it can't give the middle term of plus 5x, which is in the middle of 6 and 1. And therefore, it is much more likely if we choose 3x times 2x or plus 2 minus 3 or minus 2 plus 3. These factors are much more likely to give plus 5x if we cross multiply them together. And so we can simply cross out these not likely to be our answer. We can just cross out those not likely pairs of factors. And now, if we eliminate, remove all those extreme values or factors with very large or very small numbers, we can try it out. 3x, 2x, plus 2 minus 3, minus 2 plus 3. And then we can obviously see that uh, this one does not work for us. And the second pair, 3x times plus 3. We have 9x and then 2x 
times minus 2, we have minus 4x, therefore 9x minus 4x give us plus 5x. And therefore we come up with the correct pair of factors. And now we can write down our answer as 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 3. And finally, the checking of the answers is left to you as an exercise.